this really oh, is here, guys. a fantastic atmosphere. We're underway, third game of Super Saturday, round 22, the finals are just around the corner. And Rudolph takes the first run of the Knights, swarming Panthers. First tackle, that's a win for the home side. And it's going to be full blood of assault, tackle two, there's the save on Cameron McInnes. Driven sideways, if you keep the side inside their 20 in the first three, You've made a perfect start. Unbelievably, Graham, you forget about his penalty days, but maybe he's day 2008. It's uh, a lifetime away. Edward's got a tough box. Pulled the hands away. Hines. It was a tough set, but it shows you the benefit of a great kick. Yeah, it was a tough set of six there for the Cronulla side. Unable to move outside there. 20 and an early kick from Nico Hines. Deep into the left corner for the Penrith side, and we see them now under pressure trying to work it out from their own 20 metre line. Yeah, going off and see Ryan Tuttle driven back like that. That's a statement by the Cronulla defence. Might not happen all night, but uh, took him, was able to take him back there. Fisher Harris, look and look at this, Fisher Harris is driven back. Well, there's a couple of really positive signs for Cronulla. Five tackles in this set, and the Panthers' gain has been a modest 28 metres. Cleary kicks from the 30. It is Tracy on the wing tonight. No Ronaldo Militalo. And uh, Tracy shifting out from centres to wing. Talakai gets a recall into the starting side. Big night for this man. Sifat Talakai back into the side with the injury to Ronaldo Militalo. But Cronulla having to earn everything tonight. Penrith will give them nothing. And they are rolling up the sleeves early, willing to do so. They have come for Penrith here. A good charge here, Arabian. That's one of the offloaders that could cause Penrith some problems. Pamela Wille, 10 metres inside, Penrith's half. McKinnis up over the advantage line, they're going to forward pass. Call came from all directions there. And half the crowd here as well. Bailey's a little perplexed. But that is a, a pull up to the momentum there. Yeah, it's been an energetic start from Cronulla. And the turnover now just gives Penrith an opportunity to get back inside Cronulla's half. We won't be happy with that. Craig Fitzgibbon. First time these sides have played since, or met since round 19 last year. Cronulla's actually led at half time the last two times they've played these two sides. It's 1 1 in those last two. Well, they led 10 0 in this game last year in, in exactly the same situation. Penrith were flying and they came and ambushed them. Got out to a 10 0 lead before Penrith just grafted and grinded away for a narrow win. Penrith now attacking inside Cronulla's half. 15 metres inside. The shot's half and Cleary kicks well before the last. Kennedy on notice. Oh, he got a bit scrappy there. Ken oh, Kennedy may have done a hemi. Yeah, Wills. Oh, that's yeah, not Wills a good sign. But he's out the back. Kennedy suddenly felt. The left leg. Little boy, hearts in mouths of the Sharks coaching staff watching this. Oh yeah, you can see there. Just watch this. It just just buckles underneath him, doesn't it? His left leg. Is it his hamstring or his knee? Nonetheless, he's been significant for them this year. Kennedy, trainer with him now. It's a thumbs up, but I don't know whether it was full of uh, conviction. Fisher Harris to bring it back. 35 away from the Cronulla line. Penrith have scored the first try in eight of their past nine games. Eight different players scoring the first try. I mean, it could be Mitch Kenny get the first four-pointer tonight, or Lindsay Smith. It's an incredible record. Never known the like of it. Yo with it. And uh, back. And crossfield now straightening Luai. And suddenly the Sharks defence under pressure. That's how quickly it turns. Yo, Cleary, they get moving. And a cross field with Peachy. Couple of tries last week against the Bulldogs. His third double for the year. Now Cleary, left side, switches inside. Tackle. That is some shot on Fisher-Harris from McInnes. 
Last tackle, Cleary and Dab off the legs. Tackle cam restarts. Luai does some dancing and dances his way over the line. Kennedy down again for Granulla. And Penrith get the first try yet again. Yeah, down the left hand side where they're always threatening, always threatening the Penrith side. And it's Kenny who finds Cleary. Cleary looks, dribbles it in. Kennedy just getting his legs in front. That's the moment that he buckles. Kennedy struggles to get off the canvas from that moment. And in the blink of an eye, it's Luai that just accelerates into the narrowest of spaces. Burrows underneath the defence. There's the work from Cleary. Rejects there off the legs of Kennedy. Scooped up by Sorensen, who just found his 5'8", and Luai with the flick pass. Watch this. The eyes just light up. Ever so small, the space, and then just accelerates on the inside of Nicara, underneath the tackle of Katoa. And Jerome Luai finding form at the right time of year. <laughs> Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. Jerome Luai, and that is the bad news for Cronulla. Kennedy gone. Opening six minutes of the game. And Penrith make the running again, and I think I'm right in saying that is the ninth different, or the eighth different first try scorer they've had. All right, well, we might see a major reshuffle here for Cronulla if Kennedy struggles to get going. I, I think it'll be Connor Tracy that'll go to fullback. He's played plenty of that for Newtown throughout the season. Four forwards on the bench. He's clearly makes it 6 0. Let's go down to the sideline for the first time tonight. James Hooper, a lot happening. Evening, Vossi and Michael. This joint is absolutely rocking Bluebet Stadium. More than 20,000 fans in the house tonight. Currently 14 degrees. There is some dew around on the ground, so it will be a little slippery underfoot. Big news, Will Kennedy has just gone straight up the tunnel. It is a hamstring issue, and as you just pointed out, Andrew, they have got four forwards on the bench, Cronulla. So Jack Williams has gone onto the field. Looks as though Connor Tracy will now be playing fullback for Cronulla. See definitely the fullback for Cronulla. What they do on the left wing, though, uh, remains to be seen. And Penrith with Smith. Good reward for, for Lindsay to be in the starting side tonight. Moses Liotta starting off the bench. So on their own 20 metre line, the Panthers, Yo. Looks like Britt Nicker has gone to left centre and it's Sipa Talakai who's moved out to the far wing for the Cronulla Sharks at the moment, certainly defending there. And Penrith tradesman like here. In their set after points as Fisher Harris charges now up towards the halfway line on play five. And that is a better set from Penrith. Cleary drives hard to the corner and uh, Talakai playing on the wing and it goes over the dead ball line. Liam Martin ends up in the lap of the security guard. Gave him a bit of a shock. Sharks quick on the restart. Seven and a half minutes gone. Six nil score line. This is the finish of it. Sifa is playing the game. And he gets away with it. You'd want to be a coach. I mean, you lose Kennedy, you lose a lift right. You've got to make a decision on the run to cover the loss of fullback. Now, it just appears to me that it is Nikola playing left centre and Talakai on the wing. I, I feel Penrith will run traffic Talakai's way all night. Well, it's been that left edge that it's been under huge pressure over the last fortnight anyway through the Warriors and also the Manly side sending plenty of traffic there and a reshuffle. But I, I thought... You know, it's the reason that Connor Tracy has been relied upon so much by Craig Fitzgibbon. His versatility is a real feature and did not hesitate that man there, Craig Fitzgibbon. Moving Connor Tracy straight back to fullback. Thoroughly planned, the Cronulla coach. It's the Nicara talakai combination that one. It would have to be a first that they've defended alongside each other in those positions. So Penrith with uh, Edwards and on to Fisher Harris. He had 17 hit ups last week against the Bulldogs, and everyone, like his life, depended on it. 
Cleary again kicking before the last, well before the last. So it's Tracy on his own at the back. And the ball goes over the sideline. And a couple of very purposeful sets from Penrith after their first points of the night. Yeah, arrow straight, plenty of support. Cleary not happy that that ball found the touchline. Wanted to keep it in play, wants to grind, wants to keep the live footy happening and test the middle forwards of the Cronulla side with these big, robust middles that he's got in Fisher-Harris. Isaiah, uh, Lindsay Smith, great to see him get a start. He's been oh, in great no. form. Oh, no. Tackle now one. there's another injury. Sianni. Katoa is down. Um, Fisher-Harris was signalling to the bench that Sione's got a problem. Michael, I will, we will draw on your experience for the Fox League audience. When you have a, a significant injury so early, and I remember that famous semi-final, Cronulla, yeah. and Canberra down in Canberra, where you're up against it, and then there's injury yeah. opening minutes. What happens among the group? Are you aware what's going on? The redeployment of players, do you, do you have a buy into it, or it's just what the coach says? Well, no, the, the coaches, you obviously trust their decisions and you, you practice scenarios throughout the week uh, and throughout the season of different players in different positions. It's, this looks like it may be James Huber just touched on uh, the surface. He, he's either been stood on with his... Yeah, look at his hand there. It is. It's his finger that's dislocated. Uh, and this moment now would be a perfect time, Andrew, to answer your question where... Uh, Nico Hines, Braden Trindle, uh, Blake Braley, they get together and start and, start and work out just how they're going to solve these changes in the... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> you've, got, you've got a driver coming in there. Yeah, what, no, what they're talking about. And, and there you go. They're not going to get an appeal because the referee starting to say, you've got a driver there, you've got, a, you've got interference in the tackle in any case. It makes it very hard for the referee to rule. See, you've got... Nicker are getting involved in the tackle as well. And he's 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 assisted in pushing Ramian off balance. I, I will say, Jared Beale, who was on the bench for us in, in the 2016 Grand Final, proved pivotal when we lost uh, Sasai Fecky to a groin and knee injury throughout the game. But go back to the 2009 semi-final, uh, prelim final, when we lost Luke Patton at the Bulldogs. A fullback is so significant for so many reasons to your side. It is a big reshuffle, Andrew. So they're going to weather another set. Cronulla now. Penrith 20 metres away from the line. Michael Ennis speaking from experience in Fox League commentary tonight. Cleary for Edwards. The Edwards-Kennedy clash was one of the, one of the standouts coming into the game. They've uh, been in terrific form. Kenny, Yo, Fisher-Harris goes sideways in. Set restart, Penrith. This is now full-blooded assault from Penrith. Smith. Spins almost right under the crossbar. Kenny, Luai, step, step again. Fisher Harris, turn and pass Edwards. Cleary show, goes wider. Brian Toto with it. And they contain Brian, eight metres away from the line. Still three tackles left for Penrith. Cleary, set restart, there's more than three. And then Ford the defender. Well, there you go, set restart. Really poor option here from Isaiah Yo, and, I, and I, I say that with respect. We, we do not see this often. Okay, Kleining. Yeah, coming in to tackle one. Penrith challenging the ruling of a knock on. I've ruled that it's touched the defender before he negates it by batting it backwards. He is such a wonderful ball player, but the space out the back was evident, and he just simply had to play out the back. He went a high pressure pass to Fisher Harris in traffic. He's losing it. He's losing it. James Fisher Harris loses the ball forward. Just think if it makes contact with a Cronulla player. If it doesn't, we'll be on no tackle. Gee, it's a keen eye from Yo to have the confidence to say that it hasn't made contact with Cronulla to put in the, the challenge 12 minutes into the game. I know he's right on the spot, but in normal speed, this it would have looked like it touched a Cronulla player. Just checking all the angles. James Fisher Harris does knock the ball backwards afterwards, just making sure the ball does not make contact with Jack Williams. It's a bold captain's challenge, and it might just pay off here. Based on the angles available, it's inconclusive whether it, they, 
ball touches Jack Williams. Look we are the supporting the on-field decision. How far Nico Penrith will retain is in the right field. to challenge. Had he have found the pass out the back, they were in deep trouble, Cronulla. Also surprised, Andrew, there has been minimal movement from the Panthers towards Cronulla's left-hand side. It is all going right towards Luai at the moment. Let's go down to the sideline. James Hooper with the news on Will Kennedy. A huge blow for the Cronulla Sharks. Vossi William Kennedy has been ruled out of this game for the remainder of this evening, and it does not look good rolling forward. We'll keep you updated. Ooh, OK, we'll uh, check in on that at half-time. Uh, so Penrith keep their challenge inconclusive. Gee, I reckon a few people watching at home probably thought it was conclusive that Fisher-Harris, it should have been Penrith winning the challenge, but... Inconclusive, so they don't lose the challenge, but Cronulla ended up with the ball. Hind, oh, slam. That could have hurt. Emlyn Welle to play it there. On the 40-metre line, McInnes, and then Rudolph. Plowing his way forward, good to have him back. This 10 guy. oh, terrible play the ball. Toby Rudolph, my goodness. you try to play too quick. Well, that's a couple of errors now around this point of the field. That's really given this Panthers side wonderful field position. And on play five, Hines in great position. <laughs> to get a nice long kick there. And Rudolph just unable to execute the play of the ball effectively for Jared Sutton. Ooh, it's a good crowd in again, Andrew, isn't it? Looks fantastic. Well, I can't see why they wouldn't have a full house every game they play now. Such is the play of their football. They play four of their last six here at home. Earning four consecutive minor premierships in the third of the past four seasons. Another set restart too. This is getting to be a bit of a worry. Penrith 3-0 and with these set restarts. Yo! Beating tackles. Kenny Cleary then for Fisher-Harris. Penrith rack up the points. Suddenly we're talking about that scoreboard pressure a little earlier than what Cronulla would have been hoping for. Smith and Cleary then turn and pass. Some risk involved from Martin Crichton. Does the juggle. Retain possession. Still two left in the set. Cleary across. Luai dumps it off. Sorensen almost away. Last tackle now. Luai on the left. So two is Cleary. The seven and the six combined. Luai, he's got more steps in the Opera House tonight. Got it away to Yo. Then out to Crichton. Toe unmarked on the outside. Crichton left foot kick and Chase Tracy. They've come up with a ball. Then Talakai thunders downfield. Great counter by Cronulla. Yeah, really nice work from the Cronulla side. Great attack too. Uh, down this left-hand side, the combination of clear, uh, and Cleary. Down a narrow channel. Oh, no, another error now from Cronulla. And possession mounting here for the Penrith side. 67% of the ball. Three mistakes inside their own half. There's overlap. Luai could see it. Could see the space. Couldn't get the ball there. And Cronulla, well, they came up with it and lost it. I was sure Katoa had it. And then Peachy got it back. Panthers with Daruba now. 20 away from the line. It is happening everywhere here. Good shot. Lindsay Smith under the ball on a greasy night. Big improver, isn't he? Lindsay Smith. Now 12 from the line. The depth of Penrith on show. Cleary. Luai. This, this stepping and jumping about. This is uh, Luai at his best. At his World Cup for Samoa best, where he was superb. Here it is again. Here is Peachy. Cut down by McInnes. Last tackle, Kenny, sweep right, Cleary Edwards, Crichton flick, Toe, crowd rises, Toe stopped. Well done, Cronulla. Yeah, the leg speed of Britton Nicker out on that left-hand side, who is now defending at centre uh, with the Will Kennedy injury. His sheer speed is saving Cronulla at times, as we see Stephen Crichton just clutching at a hip. Cleary swung from left to right, great skill. Look at the catch and pass there from Edwards and from Stephen Crichton. That was impressive. So too was the work from the inside from the Cronulla defence. Oh, the top one as he passed. Boarding tackles now inside the Sharks 20 for the one try. Boy, how many times, Voss, have we seen them come to that left-hand side and turn 
either Jerome Luai with his footwork back through the middle, or now we've seen Peachy doing the same. It's been relentless from Penrith. Ramian on this run. Coach Fitzgibbon would be hoping they just get to the end of a set out of their own half. They will kick before the last. Trindle goes long, finds the grass, and a trap from Dylan Edwards to bring it back. In Edwards and Katoa, we have two of the top three tackle busters in the NRL going into round 22. So we'll keep uh, tabs on their tally. Edwards won already tonight. None for Sioni just yet. Pitchy now. Cut down by McKinnis there. Fisher Harris. How fit and strong does he look? The advantage of having players not involved in origin. Up front, Fisher Harris fresh as a daisy. Here's Cleary now. 20 away from the line. Last tackle, Penrith. Yo, and running it, Luai. Sorensen Dubby. Sorensen will be wrapped up and finished off. Cronulla, pat on the back again. Under enormous pressure. Dealing with the adversity of losing their fullback. And uh, repelling Penrith to this point, all bar the one try. Well, the Panthers side, they've gone through 11 sets already uh, in the opening 70 minutes of the game. Cronulla just three. It, it, the possession rate has been enormous for the home side, and it's starting to take its toll. An alarming number. Of, of course, a little inflated that figure when they get a set restart that then goes as a completed set and a new one is added and there have been three set restarts for Penrith tonight now Braley away to Hines he's from five minutes inside his own half Brian Tottle he looked a little unsteady but he got the catch one of the great entertainers bringing it back he put on a show last week I Apologies to Brunella fans, but I, I do want to see what the next try celebration of Brian Toto is before July ends. He must have another one to back up last week's superb double. So now Kenny clearing again kicks on play four. He's driving them to the corner. That's why he was dirty on the one that went out. It's a, a clear tactic. They are, they are working Cronulla over here. Oh, it just breaks the hearts of the Cronulla side. Play three, they get to halfway. Cleary, whether it's tackle two, tackle three, tackle four, just puts it into that right corner. And the middle forwards of the Sharks just look at the way they've got to get back behind the ball and, and start again. And it's suffocating. And it hurts. And Cronulla at the moment, they're hurting. And Oregon Kafusi on all. Gee, that is treatment on Katoa. There's no tackle busting there. He is in the walls tonight. It's the only Katoa. Last tackle with the Sharks. Hines going to run. Now to Katoa. Kick over the top and chase. Look out. Edwards counter. He'll run for open space. He will find open space almost as he beat the Braley tackle. He was thinking attack the moment the ball was coming his way. Edwards. He's working hard, Cameron McInnes defensively, getting through an enormous amount of work. 26 tackles in the opening 19 minutes of the game. 26 tackles in. And the number 13 jersey is his for the rest of the year with the injury to Dale for Nuka. And the Sorensen. 35 away from the Cronulla lock. Kenny. Moses Liotta on for Smith. Clear little show. Edwards again. Silk and smooth hands. Tottle with it for Penrith. Late off lane. Now Cronulla a little rattled. Across and switch from Cleary. Lua. Oh, he is playing the game at his own speed tonight. Muddling pace. Cleary kick. Knocked down by Hines. And Yo scores back to back weeks. Hines deflected it. Unfortunately for Cronulla, straight to the end goal. And Yo around the ball gets the scraps, and the scraps are golden. Yeah, well, it, it's a suffocating masterclass at the moment from the Penrith number seven. He is kicking them to death. Ball control has been fantastic from the home side. Eyes looking out. That opens the space. Brilliant deception. And pushing through the workhorse, Isaiah Yo, back through the middle. 
Look at this from Cleary. Looks out, looks out, sees the space back on the inside, dabs it on the outside of the right foot. It's Nico Hines that lunges, trying to pick up the ball. And Isaiah pressing through the middle. And what well, Cronulla have been brave, like incredibly brave. The huge amount of possession. It's just simply taking its toll. Yes, it's a very different story to last week. Um, the effort is far better from Cronulla than when they were getting wiped out by Manly last week before the second half rally. But well, they just they simply you do can't worry get about out of their half. They, they, need, they need penalties to go their way. They need a few set restarts. They need some time in possession. No set will be easy for them between now and half time. Cleary makes it 12 0. James Hooper on the sideline. And the Penrith Panthers, Andrew, have started with an absolutely red hot hand here. It is their workhorse, number 13, Isaiah Yo. He scores his third try for the season in 15 games for the St John's Dubbo Junior. And I'll tell you what, the local fans here this evening, over 20,000 in the house, Andrew, and they are absolutely riding this. Penrith almost perfect. 15 out of 16 sets completed in the opening 23 minutes of the game. Never will beat numbers like that. Some brilliant shots coming in from uh, a winter's night. With Penrith, no one's worried about a little chill. Um, it feels like a winter's night no. now here. Uh, they've almost sold out of two tasties. It's a big night here <laughs> at Penrith. The food outlets make a killing here. You do wonder if, if we had bigger, like how big would the crowd be on a regular basis? If they had a 30, 40,000 seat stadium, how many would they get, Penrith, as, as a champion side of this era? Back in the day, you know, the St George side would always play match of the day, SCG, and Penrith home is here at a, a ground that has a capacity of just over 20. Dijo. That'd be something if they played in front of 40 every week. Yeah. How would you beat them? It's hard enough as it is now. Here's Cleary on the Fisher Harris up over the 40 meter line. He does not miss a beat. That's 12th hit up for James Fisher Harris. 12. Blue on, kicking from halfway. He got the glancing blow of the fold, did he, from Jack Williams there? He's just uh, holding his head, Jerome Luai. There he is. Might have got it in the eye. And Cronulla back in possession. There is Ramian. Yeah, Craig Fitzgibbon going to his bench. Tom Hazelton out there now. He's been in good form. Tom Hazelton, Toby Rudolph coming from the field. So Tuck Tyler now starting to find a way through here. A few tackle busts and off goes Braley. Braley, yes, makes the most of it. 15 metre run off a quick play the ball. Anxious times for the Sharks coach. Hazelton with it. And he is, uh, he is fast becoming. A cold hero with the Sharks fans. The new nut, they love him. <laughs> Braley to Hines. Hot kick. It'll bounce in. No, it won't bounce in front of Taruva. Who boldly came forward to take that one. Penrith back in possession. 16 remaining first half. We are live from Penrith tonight. Half time. Post match show all here in the corner at Penrith. At the southern end of the ground. Now Edwards with it. He's weaving his way across field. The seventh carry of the night. This time with Yo. <clears throat> Hazelden got a shot in him over the top. Williams was the man low. Last tackle, Penrith. Talk about oh, oh wow, yeah. this is this is horrific for Talakai. He was no chance to catch it. Thankfully knocked it back. You say that teams get ready for, you know, changes. Is he ready to field bombs from Nathan Cleary? Well, he's absolutely elite, Nathan, with his kicking game. And it was moving everywhere on Talakai. And the last minute just dipped on him. You're right. He can train for certain things. But when it comes to kickers in our competition like Moses, Cleary, Matt Burton, you simply just, you can't train. When it goes up, you just hope for the best and close your eyes, Andrew. <laughs> and he may have done that there. Uh, it looked like... Hope the bludger like lands in your hands. It, it looked like he said, oops, <laughs> just before it hit. Hines puts a kick in. Katora's getting through. Tarifa goes back again. He covers up another kick. 
in slide mode. Tito. Now Edwards. 12-0 scoreline, 14 and a half to go on a big Super Saturday here on Fox League. Boy, good man. He's as game as they come, isn't he? Again, same tactic before the fourth tackle. The kick and Grodden is getting through the ball. It wins the race. Nathan will be dirty. It's just a metre too far. Is that five times tonight the kick before the fourth? Yeah, it, it has been absolutely relentless to that corner Stephen in behind. Kicks it away to delay it. It's already gone dead. See a penalty. penalty. Now. Ball kicked away and Hans will rock for this upfield. What a tactic. I mean, they played the Bulldogs last week. No side of this. They're coming up against Cronulla tonight. Well, there's been a co complete shift in game plan. And the way they've been able to execute it, like, I know that one goes dead, but they're all on board that we've seen the change in direction where they're all skipping back through the middle. Uh, and those inside plays, Luai and uh, Tyrone Peachy in particular on the left-hand side. This is the Sharks' best chance of the night, and they've got a set restart as well. So, full set, 30 metres away from the Penrith line. 12 0 becomes 12 6. That ain't that bad. Given all they've had to endure early here, Hazelton with it. If they could get 12 6, they'd be absolutely wrapped. Sharks fans lift. You're watching at home. Get behind your side here. Williams with it. Fighting for their top eight life at the moment against the best in the league. Braley, short side, Holmes, Bob, and Radian. Peachy got up there. Edwards was across. Now the ball with Hines. Still two tackles left. Kafusi, feel like he was saying a watermelon. Hazelton with it. Tedway from the line. Last tackle. Sharks, it's a slow play. The ball on the last. It comes the way of Tracy. He's the kicker. Edwards is there. And then may have got knees in the head. I tell you, you talk about the detail and the improvement of this bloke, Dylan Edwards. So on the left-hand side of the field, you, you've got Braden Trindle and Nico Hines planning an assault with that left-hand side. Connor Tracy, who has moved from centre to fullback, steps up to kick the footy. And look who's there. Dylan Edwards still in position to cover both sides of the field. Cops the forearm on the way down from Jack Williams. Yeah, certainly wasn't knees in the head. There was uh, some head contact there. Ooh, Penrith off their own line. McKinnis again. How good is he going? Oh, Tom Edwards. He's, he's just an incredible rise. You go back you know, four yeah. seasons ago and uh, you look at the games and now he's he's a million dollar player based on what he Produces. what he delivers. Yeah. By the way, McInnes' tackle count is now 34. 34 tackles in 29 minutes. In fact, just under 29 minutes. That could be anything. Now Cleary. Long again, long again, what a kick! 40-20, make it a 32-7. A if, if you can understand what I'm saying, he has launched a long ball. It is way inside the 40, and it has gone into touch way inside the 20. He, he can't believe it. Look, he's even laughing in disbelief with Blake Braley, who put him under pressure. Boy, did that come out of the screws. It's his second 40-20 of the year. Second game back from the hamstring injury. Pressure again on Cronulla as if they needed to concede a 40-20. Kenny and Yo, and now Eisenhut back through the middle. Penrith, they can sense a third try. Certainly the fans feel it's coming. Cleary along, Crichton Tyler. Here we go. Oh, I think he's laying over the sideline. Don't know. Certainly the leg over the sideline, but was it grounded? They will award the try for the moment. To'o getting it down. But Trindle came across. I was convinced got the leg over the sideline, but did he get it to touch the earth? Well, look, certain to score, Brian To'o, who picked up two tries last week. Clearing nice and direct. The catch and pass from Crichton, beautiful. The tackle from Ramian. Outstanding. I think he, he might get this. He, his legs in the air. The only question mark will be the left boot that's stuck underneath Ramian. Cleary deep into the line. Look at that. Collapses Talakai. 
And it's a simple two on one. Had Crichton have dummied, he scores. Oh, does he keep his legs Ooh, and folds feet. him up, doesn't he? Tucks himself into a ball here and lifts his feet up. Oh, oh, he does. does I think he puts the he, he puts the legs onto the lap or the feet onto the lap of Ramian. It's a great tackle from Ramian on top. Who at times is impossible to stop. And he is well, Ramian holds him up from going over the exactly sideline. Holds him up and he ends up using him like a puffy, keeping the feet up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he puts him there. He says, well, I'll rest him here. Look, this leg, he, he's... Well, there's things you like to be called in commentary as a player sure. that, that are extremely comp complimentary. I'm not sure puffy is oh. one of them. Well, you know what I mean? He's got that. Well, what else do you put your feet on? <laughs> You're not allowed to put your feet on the coffee table. I don't know about it at your house, Mick. You can't put the feet on the coffee table at ours. Gee, it's a cruel game. Cronulla had, had finally wrestled themselves back into the, the contest where we're talking. If they can get to 12-6, if they can score a point here, they'll be absolutely wrapped given the dominance of Penrith in the opening 20 minutes. And then Cleary just rockets a 40-20. Like, like, incredible. Mm. And all of a sudden, Cronulla concede. I've got bad news, Michael. And I, and I had to break into the Bulldogs fans, so I let the Sharks down gently. But this amazing run of Brian Toto when he scores a try. Mm. Uh, the Panthers have won 28 straight. Right. And Brian scores a four-pointer. Right. A four-pointer, not a double. A try. They've won 28 straight games. Craig Fitzgibbon just put on the industrial earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> and now Cleary from the sideline. Here he goes, Cleary. It's on its way. It's on its way. The Panthers are perfect again. 18-0 against the Sharks. He is one of the personality players of the Penrith Panthers, Brian Toto, and he has scored his 12th try in 16 games. It all came off the back of this epic 40-20 from their junior halfback, Nathan Cleary. Only his second game back from that hamstring injury, and as we see here, Brian Toto, the St Mary's junior, he is a fan favourite. The local crowd absolutely loving it. Mick, that, that replay proves, I think, I think 33-7 was right. He's kicked it. You don't have to kick it 40 metres to get a 40. 20. He kicked 60. Yeah. He kicked 60, 17 inside his own half. And 43 in advance. The other thing, with everything that was going on then, we, we just didn't give him enough compliments for his pass selection to Crichton and what that did to Cronulla's left edge. That was a brilliant pass from Cleary that set up the try. Looking forward to hearing uh, Mal's thoughts and Cooper Cronk's thoughts at halftime with Body on the halftime show here on Fox League. In front of a big crowd at Penrith, the fans will be watching live in the uh, southwestern corner. I don't know how many will stay around right until 10.30 tonight at the end of the post-match show. There's a move now, Cleary. Liam Martin. Been a little quiet, only his fourth carry of the night, Liam, in the week that he has signed the new long-term contract. Back away for Cleary. Looking here. So... They made the shift in the centres briefly on that right side. It's, yeah. it's all over the place now, Cronulla. I mean, Nicker is now bobbed up back on the on the right. Yeah, it looks like this man, Jesse Ramian, has gone to left wing. Talakai has gone back to the centres and a turnover now for Penrith. Ooh, referee Sutton Penrith first. has a knock on against Penrith. Well, that's tough again. I mean, now, now Ramian has to go to the other side of the field and... Okay. Yeah, Kleine, uh coming to tackle one. Penrith challenging the ruling of their knock on first. This is huge, this for the Cronulla side. Need a bit of luck to go their way. Ramian offloading the ball. Does it touch a piece? Ramian offloads the ball backwards. What a Falcon, uh, Eisenhuth. <laughs> We judge the entertainment of the captain's challenge and then... Well, he's missed it. Crichton, has he? Just seeing if it touches either Nico Hines or Stephen Crichton and then which direction the ball goes if it does touch them. Mm. Well, this is why you pay, we pay you the big bucks, Mick. You Comes tell off me the hand of Stephen Crichton, just seeing what direction it goes. It like it, yeah, it did touch the palm and the top of his left thumb I 
After coming off the left hand of Stephen Crichton, the ball continues to travel forwards towards his the opponent's dead ball line, which is a knock-on. The challenge is unsuccessful. But now Penrith lose the challenge. Crichton saying, I did not touch that. Yeah. You found inconclusive before. I now you found say. conclusive here. I thought the last one was, was more conclusive, conclusive compared to that. That was inconclusive. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah. Life's too short. Yeah. <laughs> Sharks with the ball, not for Cronulla at the moment. This is uh, life or death. And they are on the slide. It's, it's not as if the effort's not there tonight, but they're 18 nil down. Where do they find a way back in? Points before half time, absolutely critical. They thought that Eisenhuth offside there, not called. Sharks just outside their 30. McKinnis, Hazelton. He's brought a real energy, hasn't he, Hazelton? Kittis, Trindle, quick hands on the bounce. Two bounces, in fact, in fact to uh, Ramian now, the left winger. So Nicker has started the game in the second row, four minutes there, then left centre, now right centre. Ball bounces at right angles. To Brian Tottle, or rather to Crichton, like there was a magnet there. Crichton back on the wing for that kick. And now, oh, full blown penalty. That is a piggyback, that. That's the sort of stuff Sharks need, but Penrith get it. Yeah, just re-grabbing and re-gripping there. Jared Sutton having none of that. Nathan Cleary, an opportunity to take a breath. Just see that little conversation there with Jerome Luai. What do you want? You know, Nathan just asking questions. You could sense that it's, it is Jerome Luai that's up tonight. He's been very, very good to Penrith 5-8. So just again, so our viewers understand, because we, we're waxing lyrical about the Penrith completion rate, 22 or 23. That counts as a completed set. One tackle, but that's a completed set. So the number is is a little inflated tonight with penalty count and set restarts taking into account. It's still outstanding. They had just the one mistake, the Panthers. And here is Cleary. What is significant is the tackle count that's climbing. 172 now for Cronulla. Only 119 for the Penrith side. Cameron McInnes is 41 in the first half, and we've yeah. still got we've still got five and a half to go. He, he might he might challenge 100 tonight. <laughs> he could get to 80 based on yeah. these numbers. Now it goes out for Crichton, and then offloaded late. Edwards bouncing about. This becomes the biggest set of the night, certainly for Cronulla's chances. 18-0, five to go till half-time. Yo with it, kept him in two minds, didn't pass to Eisenhuth. Last tackle, Cleary and Luai are both on the left. Of course it comes left, Cleary with it. Dab, trap and scrap, gets the ball back. No doubts it was played at. A full set, again for Penrith. It counts as a completed set. It's incredible. Eisenhuth with the ball. I'll say it again, the perfect Panthers. They are doing it here. Kenny charging run. Oh, that is Brayley at his best. Stopping a rampaging Leota. Now with Cleary. And a flick. Audacious from Peachy to Ruva back. Luai with the ball. With a goose step and a cross field. And a step and a swerve and offloading. Martin's now got it. Now for Kenny. They get back into the plan. Brian Tottle, last tackle. It'll be possibly a kick to the left side. Cleary, there it is again. Pressure. Tra oh, Tracy, I thought he could have left it bounce. Oh, no, no! Katoa loses the ball in goal. He claims that he got it down. Jerome Luai. I'm not sure. Is that the reaction of the try scorer or is that conceding that Sioni may have touched it? Or may have forced it? Well, clear his kick and looked a fraction long, but Tracy taking no chances. And then found a pass deep in his end goal to Sioni Katoa. Watch this from Cleary. Goes deep into the line, ball in two hands and gets ball to boot. And then Katoa's eyes just come off the ball. Oh, Ooh, yeah, maybe he might have. Right. Yeah. Now, I think uh, desperate lunge with the left hand. Tracy pass. Oh, this is a, a an ugly moment. Or... The on as well? no, 
He's still claiming it, Sione. He's he's okay. adamant that he gets the hand to it. Watch it at home. Does he? Does he? Oh, he does. Yeah. He, he does enough. He does. Absolutely, he does. Oh, Shark's yeah. in, the, in the background, always putting the hands over the eyes. Watch it. Yeah, does. The hands go up over the eyes of the fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bloke with the shark hat. Look at yes. his <laughs> head's been <boudic. laughs> They're all got their head in their heads. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, Ash, if you've got ground in Cronulla, can you look at what... Yeah, mate. Yeah. Uh, sorry to throw something else out here, but you're going to have to look with a Matt Eisenhuth is obstructed. Okay, now this... I know this... Oh, okay. I don't agree with this at all. Jared okay. Sutton, now you have heard what happened. Is that how you filed this complaint? Yeah. Jared Sutton didn't have this. This, this wasn't in question. That is this is now reacting to Penrith lodging a complaint. Now review it. They can't do that. Jared Sutton would have set it up. Agree. He would have set it up and said, you know, check that. I've got that. And now we're... Now we are going back. Clear all aspects of play leading up to this. It's a knock-on initially from Sione Katoa. Looking at the okay. le le right hand of Katoa, who grounds a ball in the in-goal area, which is a drop out. Good, 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 no obstruction on that ice, well, there's mass confusion here between ref and there video. Is. Yep. I don't right. think Ash Klein's heard what... Yep. We have a decision. <laughs> this is, that's, yeah, that is, is, what, Absolute what, shambles. What just happened? Did not Jared Sutton just say, can you go back and review the obstruction? We just checked to see if Katoa grounded the ball. Short. <laughs> and now short oh, dropout. It's a little stab. Penrith come up with the ball. Three and a half to go to half time. We will need Mal and Cooper to work that one out at half time. The over with the ball. I think we just leave it. I reckon yeah, we just move on. Yeah, Fabi. <laughs> As Clyde has just said, no, I'm not checking it. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I do five metres from the line. Kenny, right, Cleary. This is his second game back from a hamstring, folks. He's, he's back to his best. Yo with the ball. The goal line defence of the Sharks. Again, 28 tackles. They've defended inside their own 20. Cleary with a run, Edwards ended up underneath the scrimmage there. He's not well either, Edwards is limping for Penrith. He's been hurt. And the ball is held up, Cronulla got it back, another trap and scrap. Hazelton ended up with the ball. Well, Sharks just certainly can't question commitment tonight. Yeah, no, they just won't go away. Cronulla, some great desperation there, tremendous stop when you thought Cleary was going to split them and then big Tommy Hazelton just... Diving in over the top of the footy. Came up with a huge play and they resist the Panthers just before half time. Importantly. It's a half time show a couple of minutes away with Mal Meninga and Cooper Cronk with Yvonne Sampson here at Penrith. And uh, we have Sharks in possession. Mentioned the 30 tackles now Penrith have had inside the Sharks 20. Penrith have thrown Cronulla's attack just uh, three tackles inside the Panthers 20 tonight. That is a massive, massive difference. Across to Solson. Inside the Sharks half they go again to move up. And that run, I think they've got another trick shot. Yet to uh, show us before half time. Cleary here. Oh, good tackle. Trindle got up there on Penrith. Just put his body on the line. Braden Trindle. And a rare mistake from Penrith. Yeah, a couple of times he's just come out of the line and committed to the tackle. And it was nice work from Braden Trindle up in the face of Liam Martin there. Cleary into the line, just committed. Bit of space out the back had they have been able to find Edwards. It's off the mark for the scrum. Up here. Thank you. It's in. He asked nicely and they responded. So Cronulla from the scrum. 18 nil. By the numbers, 18 nil is about as good as you could have got. I, I, look, I don't know whether there's too many sides in the comp that would be any closer than Cronulla are tonight because Penrith. With 25 out of 27 compared to 12. And the and the territorial advantage, 30 tackles inside. You know, they, they score 
you know, every eight tackles. And uh, anyway, Hines offloading, loose on the bounce. Trindle shovels it along. Graham does the same. That's not one of the best backline moves I've seen. That. Well, that, that'll be the only problem that'll concern Craig Fitzgibbon has been their errors yeah. in this part of the field. That, that, that's been their only problem because they have been brave. And, and you're right, Andrew, you give this Panthers side 25 sets in a half, you're going to be down 18 nil. Clear he's looking at the post here. This is, this is a long way out. You're thinking a 50 move. Uh, well, 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 it's 10 seconds. He's in possession to take the ball from the scrum. Will he take the snap? And try and take it to 20 nil. No, he got a little slow the service. He wants it now. He now wants it. Now he's in position. If they get the play the ball away, they've got the statues up. Cleary will get it. He'll take a shot from 48 meters out. It's a long ball from Cleary. Here it what comes. A... Nathan Cleary. Did he get it or did it go under the crossbar? Yeah, does it go over? It's a photo finish. It's no field goal. It has gone under the bar by a beast. What a finish to the first half. Penrith, three converted tries. Watch it again. The last play of the half. Cleary, 48 and a half metres. He's got the height. Has he got the length? He's got the direction. And it's gone under the black dot, not just the crossbar. It's gone under the black dot. What an end to the half. Here on Fox League on a Saturday night, Penrith 18, Cronulla nil. Now, often possession rates even up in the second half, but honestly, we are we are definitely on Cameron McInnes' watch at 49 tackles. Second half underway off the boot of Blake Braley. Penrith trying to pick up with a left off. What a field goal attempt by Nathan Cleary right on half time. 18 nil scoreline. And if you didn't watch much of the first half, it is not because Cronulla have been or not been trying. They're absolute you know what's off. They have put so much effort in. Yo with the ball now. Up over the 30 he goes. Will Kennedy out of the match. Hamstring injury and that will be more than a short term problem. Edwards with the ball. Five short of halfway. Connor Tracy returns at fullback. Jesse Ramian, left wing. Talakai left centre. Nikara playing right centre. And Katoa out on right wing. Last tackle, Penrith. Yet another completed set. Cleary, kick out towards the corner. Ramian set the feet. Good take. And then Fend. Beat two, beat three. Well Ooh. done, Jesse Ramian. Yeah, great confident take there from Jesse Ramian, who's had to move to the left wing position in the reshuffle to the Cronulla back line and a strong charge upfield. Hines now trying to find a way through this Penrith defensive wall. Actually, zero opportunity for Nico Hines in the first half. Working the ball from, they had only three tackles inside the Panthers 20. Here he is, heavily involved early, short side and good run there from Williams, cutting it up some 15 or so metres. Into the Penrith half they go. Now Hines and McKinnis for Trindle. Wider still. And that time Toto read it well. Backed himself coming in oh off the wing. God, God. Able to shut down the play on Wade Graham. Hines a bomb. Completed set in Cronulla. Edwards rushing forward. It bounces up high. It's play on Cronulla. The challenge on Edwards was a good one. So zero tackle for Cronulla. 18 nil looks dire. 18 6, not so bad, and plenty of time. McKinnis to Hazelton. Waiting for more minutes tonight, Thomas. He's uh, averaging around 28 or so. Now Hines, right up to the line, flew. Flat ball there for Kafusi, and now Braley for Trindle. Graham. Long time for Wade Graham in the four-pointer stakes. They have to get one here in Penrith. Hines. Cameron McInnes, the warrior tonight. Hazelton for Hines to kick. Low looking for Katoa Penrith. Tito Taruva got it. And the penalty is the result. It was a fair 
They were a very close challenge for the ball. Yeah, Go great on. offload through the middle it was from Cameron McInnes. Gave Hines an opportunity just to look where Penrith may have been vulnerable, trying to land the ball just over the top of Taruba. Didn't have enough height on the kick. And Katoa oh, just couldn't help himself, had to get his hands on Sunir Taruba. And a penalty there. Penrith hold on to defend their line with the first chance to start the second half. Simonson takes that first run. The uh, 100th game for Catons and Royce Hunt still waiting to come on. He's got a little milestone tonight. He's uh, 50th game in the NRL. Good to see the man who won the number 17. He's the only one of the bench players for Cronulla who didn't see football in the first half. Zach Hosking, Sony Luke, fresh for Penrith, clearing kicks inside the 40. He's kicked one 40 20 tonight. It was a big one. The time comes back for Cronulla. Four minutes into the second half, James Hooper has been busy on the sideline reporting at halftime the extent of the hamstring problem. But what about the coaches? It was a rare shot. Uh, Hoops, uh, Fitzgibbon joined in the huddle you know, in the arm embrace before the players returned for the second half. It was a, uh, a real sign of solidarity for Cronulla. Yeah, he's aware of what's at stake, Andrew. They haven't been able to beat a top four side so far this season. They're a duck egg from four. Simple instructions. Stay in our systems as we see the Sharks exploring down that right edge. Stay in our systems. Ignore the scoreboard. Do not feel the heat from the fact that they are 18-0 down. Don't get flustered, but clearly they are going to need some to take some risks to try and get this Penrith machine off its axis. Here, Nico Hines, always dangerous down the short side. Probably could have gone through the hands there. Went the cutout pass. Kato just a, f a fraction behind, wasn't he? Sione Katoa, and the ball sails over the eastern touchline. 18 degrees uh, from Cronulla tonight. Penrith, right on halfway. Kenny. Eisenhoof. Well, as we know, his uh, cousin is the great shark, Paul Gallen. For the Penrith 17 tonight. Yo, try scorer from the first half. Moving quite a handful there. 25 from the line. Four plays down here for Penrith. Up steps Jerome Luai, and then Paul Gallant's cousin puts it down. Let off for the Sharks there. Yeah, it was a play we saw a lot in the opening 40 minutes where Luai and uh, Tyrone Pucci would change angles and come back through the middle with their footwork. That time it was Eisenhuth just took his eyes off the ball, lack of concentration. And Cameron McInnes, well, we're going to keep a watch on him. He's now at 55, so he's he's raised the bat. Yes. He's, he's got the half century. That's incredible things. 55 and oh. 46. Oh, there, the strip from Nathan Cleary. Talakai has the ball stripped away. As if Cronulla needed that. Pedrith. 22 away from the line. First points of the second half, so vital for Cronulla. Now they're defending their line. Cleary for Luai. He's in such a lively running mood tonight. Look at that. He's ducking, he's weaving, he's stepping, he's swerving. Kenny to Cleary, switch, Moses gets another run at him, five minutes from the line, they load up the left side again, when the, the seven or six appear, here they are, pass without looking, Luai Peachy, on four to Ruva, good defence Cronulla again, Trindle and Hines across there, Penrith now, low ball, Cleary kicks hard and low, looking for the paddy, no doubt about it, then Ramian cut in half by Crichton. What a tackle. Sturman Crichton just looked for a moment that Ramian was about to accelerate out of the end goal. Have a look at the kick from Cleary. This was the one-on-one -on -one strip. Brilliant work and awareness from Nathan Cleary. And on the last, look at this, he just rockets it across field. Yes, they would train over at their centre of excellence with the, the oak padding on, I guess. To, there's no doubt he was, he was aiming for a post, kicking it hard. Penrith inside the 20 yet again 34th tackle inside the Sharks danger zone Yo straightens is now just five away 
It's relentless from Penrith. Kenny. Eisenhuth wants to offload, does offload. Kenny. Luai Dummy held it up. Flick out the back. Flick out the back. Taruva scores. Tino. <laughs> well done. Penrith get their fourth of the night. He has some very snappy hands in that play. My gosh, that's incredible skill. That was incredible skill, and it started with the offload from Eisenhuth in the middle. And just watch the subtleties in the ball playing of Jerome Law, who is having a night out. From the opening whistle, he has looked up and about the Penrith 5-8. Watch this. A little bit of width on the pass from Kenny. Finds Eisenhuth. And you can see the Cronulla edge there just happy to collapse. Hines caught infield. Watch this from Sorensen. That's lovely from Luai. The flick pass spectacular. The catch and pass from Pucci. Unselfish. And then Sunia Taruva just sits himself down. Has a little carve up. And just continues to enjoy his night out on the far flank for Penrith. Yes, one of the more popular members of the side within the group. That's amazing. <laughs> Scotty oh. Sorensen flying, throwing flick passes in tries. Well done, Tito. <laughs> no, he's a character. The skill, on, uh, honestly, the James Hooper, he, he, he spoke about it early when we started the game uh, about the dew on the field here and how slippery it can get at Penrith. When you, if you've, well, when you play here at Penrith, particularly at this time of night, in this time of year, it is really slippery underfoot. Well, that's why we've seen Penrith play a lot of footy tonight where they've changed a lot of angles, trying to find big men through the middle who can struggle to move laterally in the wet can or the slippery conditions. That execution of skill was phenomenal from Penrith. The timing and the execution of their skill out on that left-hand side, the flick pass from Sorensen, it's a thing of beauty when Penrith get going. Long way to go in this match. I don't know, when do they sell tickets for Penrith Melbourne for next Friday? It may, it may be oh. a sellout before full time tonight. If they put the tickets up available, made an announcement, nope. Cleary's hung it out to the right hand side. Well, and roof will look there. Yeah, Interesting, he pushed that out to the right hand side then. Uh, he was watching him in the warm up. He pushed about four or five to the left hand side of the post, and that time just overcompensating from that same part of the field. That short pass from Luai, catch and pass, outstanding. Taruva now, six tries for the season. And uh, tackle bus tonight, just the one. He's up to 76 and a diminutive figure. Taruva. And then replacing the injured Taylor May, of course, gone for the year. Rayleigh gets us started again. Penrith at 22 zip. Moses Leo to bring it back and their, their point scoring, their average this year. Um, this is very much on it. They average 26 points a game and 13 conceded. They're well on track for the 26. They may go better than their defensive average. Yo on the run. Kinnis is about to hit 60 with his next tackle. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw your 60th tackle of Cameron McInnes tonight. I think this... <laughs> I, I know we're, we're watching yeah. everything, yeah, but right. we, we could be watching a first in rugby league. I mean, he could get beyond 80. He, he's, he's odds on to go beyond 80 at the moment, even with 50-50 possession. Well, the only thing that will stop game. it will be if he gets interchanged by Coach Craig Fitzgibbon. If he stays out in the middle, there is no question that he'll hit 80 at the rate he's going. Seventy-four is the mark, by the way. That's the record in the NRL earlier. Seventy-four tackles. We can go back to the days of Fred Pagano and Paul Taylor and others if you want. Pre that. Sharks with it on their own forty. Nico Hines, Trindle, Talakai. Good bump, but quite stood his ground there. That's it's brave when Talakai gets into that plough mode. Last tackle, Cronulla, they're sprinting up, Kenny on Hines. He puts in a low kick, trap, and all done with confidence. The try scorer brings it back. Now just watch the outside backs here as the game starts to go set for set and how much pressure they take off their middle forwards. Now that's Pucci, here they go, they keep rolling, Edwards wants it now. The outside backs of Penrith going to work. 
course, Cronulla did put on 26 second half points last week. A different kettle of fish, of course. They're playing Penrith's defence tonight, but there's something for them. Luai delivering to a hard running Sorensen. Luai and Eisenhuth. Last tackle, Penrith. Cleary's set again. He's bombing to the corner of Ramian. Liam Martin's a good leaper. Ramian even better. Really good stuff from Jesse Ramian. Yeah. Although Trindle escort here on Liam Martin. And it was Braden Trindle who just changed his angle a fraction. We'd like to see this again, and we will. There's the kick from Cleary. Pinpoint down into that 10 by 10 metre box. And just a little bump at the last minute there from Braden Trindle. And Jared Sutton all over it. It's almost like the bump came after it had already been caught, but anyway, Sharks have to cop that one. Penrith five metres away from the line. And Yo for Eisenhuth. Good contact there, but didn't prevent the Matt Eisenhuth offload. Kenny to Luai. Sorensen. Penrith will get back into shape here and on that right with Edwards Cleary Crichton now across the face of goal and Cronulla able to make the tackle McInnes 65 65 tackles Kenny Cleary straighten through a tackle Graham there with Hazelton Penrith, Kenny, they try the great tackle straight right over the top. But Eisenhuth held up. Tracy and Braley game stuff from the Sharks. Kenny and Dab. Penrith not able to get through there. Trindle got it. And the Sharks not for the first time tonight. You say, well done. I mean, they're out on their feet, but they they found a way. Yeah, there have been some tremendous stops one-on-one -on -one tonight from Blake Braley close to the line on big middle forwards from Penrith. And some great desperation there from Braden Trindle on the ground to pick up the Cleary kick. So it's hard work, all of this. Nikola ran as hard as he could, and yet they still forced him back a few metres there. He's hard on the field. So 50th game, he actually made his debut with Canberra against Penrith back in 2017. Sharks with Ramey, a charge down from Brighton. Braley is back for it. Tackle count restarts. Across with Tracy. It'll be nice to see him find some open space, Connor Tracy. Now that he's playing fullback. Kennedy gone for the night, but through the centre. Terrific run from Williams. Puts Cronulla inside the Penrith half early in the count. Hazelton off in back play. Hamlin Welle on the field for the Sharks. So that's another change made where McInnes avoids being taken off. Tracy into the back line. Nicola spin and almost away. Offload. Tracy. Cronulla with a chance. Hines goes long. Hamlin Welle straight back on. Big bump. Got away from Martin. Still going. Takes on Martin again. Second tackle after the set restart. Hines with a spring at his step. Put down by Royce Hunt. Cronulla blow it. A rare chance. Lost by Royce Hunt. Yeah, did really well. Nico Hines accelerated straight, cut off the left foot and opened the space for Royce Hunt, who fresh onto the field. Unable to hang on to it. An opportune really gone begging here. Watch this, Hines. Arrow straight. Then cuts off the left foot, drags in the defenders, had Royce Hunt one-on-one -on -one with Jerome Luai on the far side of the field. And a chance missed there. This, uh, the error count is now 11 for Cronulla. Well, that's all Cameron needs. Well, I mean, go my gosh, look at this bloke. He is this, an absolute yeah, warrior. Seriously. 65 tackles with still 24 minutes remaining. And a big gash over the top of the left eye. He ain't coming off. He's not coming oh. off willingly. I mean, he's, he's ready for Halloween now. Cameron McInnes. <laughs> 65 tackles. I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just hyper. <laughs> 24 to go, 65. So he, he breaks 80. 
So he'll smash the 74 record of the NRL era. Yeah. We're not we're not going to be saying that's his 90th tackle, are we? we please we please don't can't. take him off. I, I want to see no, this go yes. all the way to the end. That's right. Well, I'd love it to go to Golden Point. <laughs> <laughs> get, him to, get him to the hundreds. Yeah, get him to the hundreds. <laughs> the nervous 90s with his tackles. Another would like to see go to Golden Point. 22 nil down. Now, Kenny. Panthers, what about that? They're, they're able to throw a fresh man on. 22 nil with 24 to go. Oski can see his first football for the night. He's ready to go. It's only Luke yet to come on the field. Oski on. Moses Leota off. Eisenhuth off. Smith back on. There the challenges for Penrith. Sorensen again making metres. He's had 12 carries. He's up around 100 metres for the night. Last tackle, Penrith, and a Cleary bomb of the conventional kind of rain in is making a pretty good fist of the left wing spot. He's, at, he's probably actually seeing the ball a little more because yeah. he is on a kick return. That's his 15th carry for the night. That's far and away the most of any Sharks player. Yeah, he's trying hard, Ramian. See that work from Marker there, impressive. Lindsay Smith and Hosking. Last week was the uh, first time that we'd seen Cronulla held scoreless in any half of football this year. Now they've had two, and <laughs> we might be talking a third if they're held scoreless here. Oh, Hunt's offloaded, he's dropped it onto a leg. Play on, play on with a little chance. Down the right wing goes Katoa. He's got support inside. He doesn't pass, there he does. Williams, oh, he's clipped there by Taruba. And Pedro scramble and take him over the sideline. Well, there you go. Lead at 22 0. Cronulla, their best attacking surge of the night. And Penra still had plenty of jumpers in the frame. Yeah, look at this. Whoa, is that high there from Tyrone Peachy? Right on the chin of Jack Williams. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, how's that not a penalty? Hello, Bunker. <laughs> yes, he's, he's picked it up. Okay. Brilliant short side break yep, from Tyrone. Yeah, cool. This will be forceful contact today. This will be, yeah. this will be 12 minutes. Yeah, I'll talk to Isaiah and Tyrone. Isaiah. It's a swing, yeah. Mm. Mate, a, yeah, it's a swinging action there with the arm that makes yeah. contact with the head. It's on report and in the bin, Tyrone. Don't think as much as a yoga move from Tyrone at this point. Oh, I understand it's different, it's not as much yeah. swing, but it's always the penalty. Swing up, oh, yeah, it's, oh, it's oh, yeah. absolutely. Puts him in the uh, left ear. Yep. So, down to 12. Okay. Oh, just, you know, Cronulla, we know they can attack. No team has scored more well, points. I mean, they've got of, points in them. A couple of sets, they have found a few holes down, particularly attacking uh, down the Panthers' left hand side of the field. Now, that's where Tyrone Pucci has just been taken from, and Ivan Cleary's moved Sturman Crichton straight over there. 22 to go, just under. 22 nil. 13 plays 12. Hunt to play it. The handling has to be impeccable though from Grinella. That's for Hemlin Willey. He's held up in goal. Did one little twist there. He'll go back to the 10 metre line. Yeah, their handling needs to be well. I mean, it's one thing to say it's 13 on 12, but they can't keep the error rate up. Got to give themselves the best shot here. Brayley, Kim, French play. Penrith defenders almost dancing Hunt over the line there. Brayley for Trindle. Show, set restart. Tracy, good low tackle. Hosking it was. Seven from the line. Ramian, Wayne Graham. Little shuffle into the Penrith line. That counts as the second. Penrith may try and slow it down a little further. Oh! No, well, it's tight, isn't he? Cameron McInnes loses the ball. That's what I'm saying. They're handling. They can't. It's one thing to play 13 on 12, but how do you suddenly just eliminate the errors from your game? Yeah, you can see there, McInnes. How do you been able to hang on to the footy? That was Sorensen in frame. They were really short on numbers out to Penrith's left-hand side. Knew they needed to get the ball there and just 
lost concentration on the on the primary roll, and that was to catch the footy. Brighton coming back there. Sunday ticket tomorrow here on Fox League. Plenty to look forward to. Canterbury and the Dolphins. We're travelling north for that one. The Titans and the Cowboys on the Gold Coast. Penrith get a penalty. Cameron McInnes infringes. The crowd want him off. We don't want him off. Yeah, this is his 70th tackle too. Just hung the arm out. No doubt high. Does, does he get the tackle for the high tackle? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Does he? Does it count? I don't think it does. Probably. Uh, that won't count as a tackle. So we'll have to. He's on 69 at the moment. 69 not out. That would have been his 70th. So 70th tackles a high tackle. Behind the line, mate. I told, mate, I'm standing here. I told you three times. So I said behind the line to you. All right. I didn't hear you. Right. Yep. Here we go. It's a big moment. <laughs> what if they start doing that every time? Yeah. Well, every kick will be retaken. Every kick. Take four hours the game. <laughs> We're up for it. Penrith, 32 metres away from Cronulla's line with Peachy in the sin bin. There's the 70th. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little golf clap for you. Now the ball with Cleary on for Luai. He's beaten so many men tonight. Has, has anyone got him first up? Nine tackle bus for Luai tonight. Kenny Yo inside the 20. Fifteen away. Cleary straightens back inside. Jimmy, some reward for Lindsay Smith. If he can find a four-pointer, Cleary bobs up. May have been touched by Cronulla, I'm not sure. And they're going through, Liam Martin played it. All the way to the dead ball line. He reckons he scored. Sutton says yes. Bunker will check, but Liam Martin is delighted. He's convinced he got there. Yeah, the kick from Nathan Cleary, who is turning on an absolute masterclass under pressure. Looked a little heavy. There's Hamamuele out, put him under huge pressure. The kick spooned through and bounced in the end goal. And it was Martin flying through in desperation. Look at Cleary there, lobbing the ball over the top of Trindle. Sits up on its point at the back end here. Does Martin get it down? Yes, he does. Oh, a fan. And then Brian Toll comes flying around the corner and throws the pad at his head. As a try celebration, Liam Martin jamming the ball down. So here it comes, <laughs> padding, picked up, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I still wait for Brian. Oh. Well, that's that's interesting. And then that's even better. The exuberance of the Panthers. On the back of their fifth try of the night, Liam Martin in a week where he has re-signed until the end of 2027 scores a beauty. And Penrith go outside their scoring average for the year. Yeah, you just, you just cannot give them anything, Penrith. A couple of times they've come up with errors tonight, Cronulla, or that time it was a penalty. And the moment you invite them down into your half... Now, yeah, so threatening right across the park. And again, it was that man Cleary with his kicking game that's proving significant. And so too now as he adds the extras. 28 nil it is. The Tamora Terrier, Liam Martin, scoring his second try for the season as the Panthers go out to a 28 nil lead, Vossi. And it's the post-try celebrations that everybody's on board about at the moment. Last week, he saved something special. We saw a little bit of Blades of Glory with Brian Toto. I'm not sure if this is dirty dancing, maybe a little bit of Titanic, but they're having fun, they're embracing it. And why wouldn't you be when the Premiers, they are on fire at the moment? The Tyo one, does that count? Because that, he's not the try scorer. <laughs> no. <laughs> so he's a celebrator celebration by hitting a teammate across the, the melon with a pattern. It's a different category altogether. Yeah, but you still, you still clip it. Yeah, dude. 
They've got the one-man advantage. And they've conceded a try and now <laughs> conceded a penalty. Penrith can slow it down. Yeah, McKinnis and cuts will. him low here, and that just lowers his height. And, well, that's contact in the head here, and Jared Sutton just holding things up. He might be in some trouble here, Hamlin. Well, eh? often when we see the, the referee hold the game here, the crowd baying for a sin bin. On report, Brady. On report, nothing more. Oh. Braden. And the crowd not happy with it. They want a 12 v 12. Penrith happy for time to go off the clock. And Hoskin takes the run, and there's another penalty now. Need to run in there, mate. Two in a row. Then you get your target down. Ash going with this penalty. Okay, now Ash Klein's going to review another one of Braden yeah. Hamlin Weller. Well, back to back penalties here. In fact, it was Wade, Wade Graham. Graham. Oh, oh, no, hang on. Then Hamlin Weller goes in third. Just the penalty. Been reviewed. Yeah. Penrith 28 0, a man down, but with all the ball. And Tyron Peachy, three and a half minutes remaining in the sin bin as we see Martin carry over the 40 metre line. Quick play, the ball too. Yo, Yo, Smith on the spin, McKinnis there, tackle 72. 72 tackles, 15 to go. Yo. I know there's cricket on, an important cricket at that, but this might be the highest score of the night. Cameron McInnes. This is Campbell, baseball in defence. Set restart, Penrith. Right in from the line. Trindle takes a liking to a leg, or Talakai did, and Cleary passes back. Smith continues to impress in the middle of the park for the Panthers. 13 hit-ups tonight. Kenny, Cleary... Back towards the post, Yo with it. 28 nil it is. The team of man down has all the running. Cleary right to the line. Luai the same. Edwards buried. He, his head went into the ground there at the finish. Yeah, he's in some discomfort, clutching at a left ankle. Which is a huge concern for the reigning premiers. Just look here, he was trying to get on the outside, which he did, and it was just Hosking just cramping his style in his road. Had he have not been there, Hosking, there's a chance that he sets up a try for Brian Toto. Oh. And Cameron McGuinness has leveled the all time tackling has, record yeah. of 74 tackles. It has been phenomenal from the Cronulla lock forward. Seventy-four tackles. There's still thirteen and a half minutes to go. I understand that, but you're talking. It's all that to go for. Well, the clock's there, Isaiah. Here we so are. So a scrum packing infringement from Penrith. I, I didn't know whether the Panthers play saw. Well, you're waiting for Dylan, aren't you? But no, the clock went, and I don't think Penrith's all that fast. Down a man, it just it did soak up the full thirty seconds. Now Talakai brings it back. He's got a significant limp here, Dylan Edwards. Just got himself back on side. It was a problem. You don't think they'd muck around, would you? You'd be, you'd be parking in for the night. 13 to go. Hines, you've got the match against Melbourne to come up Friday night. You'll see that as part of the double here on Fox League. Titans and Warriors on Friday night. Into Panthers and Melbourne. That's next week. Fenella still chasing first points for the night. Trindle, right side, Hines, shut down, Luai. And uh, three Penrith Panthers there. No freedom for Hines at all tonight. One offload, no line break assists, any of those big positive numbers, just the three runs tonight. Hamlin Wele, another set restart. Trinella. Then for Trindle, wrapping around Hines, Ramian puts it down. And the ball control at Granulla. No better, even when they've had 13 on 12. The errors have kept on coming. Bit of fatigue in that as well. Yeah, their 13th error of the night tonight. Hines sweeping out the back. Just slides through the left hand there of Jesse Ramian. 
And Tyrone Peachy gets a roaring cheer as he comes back out onto the field for the home side. And Cameron McInnes' next tackle to, uh, to break the record at 74. It is certainly a storyline of the game, out, out of the game, one of the storylines. We'll put them up right here. No, I, I don't think we'll count that one as fourth man in. They're on their 20 metre line. The Panthers. And uh, finally, Sonny Luke sees his first football of the night. He's run on. He's just played out of that mark. There it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 75 for Cameron McInnes. 75th tackle on Scott Sorensen. The 76th quickly follows. Yeah, he is on target for 90. This, this is this is outrageous stuff. There, Peachy back on the field. Uh, Taruba put a foot in the touch. So Penrith get it wrong. Cronulla will get a turn of the ball. Have a look at him, will you? That, that is what a bloke who makes 76 yeah, tackle looks exactly like. Oh, that, right. Wikipedia, yeah. that's yeah. what it is. <laughs> when you Google that, yeah. his so head's just going to come up on your screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a strapping job on the head. Got a bit of a shine up. Blood everywhere. <laughs> that is an amazing image. Cameron McInnes. True warrior. Now, Rudolph to play it for Cronulla. Just his fifth carry of the night there. Oh and Manuela, another run. They've had no uh, player run for over 100 metres in the forward pack for Sharks. They go short side and then they, Rudolph puts it down on McInnes. Well, their, their handling's actually got worse, Cronulla. When, during the 13 on 12 period, it was bad and it's, it's got worse. And I called it snakes and ladders off the, off the top of the coverage. The snake got a little bigger tonight for Cronulla. They continue to slide. Yeah, when you're playing these big games at this time of the year, the one thing that you can't do against these top sides is beat yourself. And they've just given the reigning premiers just far too much opportunity with the footy. Too many errors at crucial parts of the field. Harvey Norman, women in league round. And uh, loving the NRLW to start the competition as well. Fantastic performances. The post try celebrations as well. Uh, just the, the extra to it. Well done uh, to all the athletes. Uh, the standard of play has gone up again. It just gets better and better. And the Harvey Norman Women in League round. Those behind the promotion never been prouder. Now the ball across to Edwards. And quick hands. Toto off Crichton. Nice angle back in field. Got him past Talakai. They look down for the count here. Cronulla. Last tackle. Penrith. Do they want to run it? Cleary sees space, kicks across field deliberately out to Taruba. He kicks again, it's on the deck. Cronulla, maybe offside. Yes, it is. Katoa. You can't have accidental offside if you grab it with your hands. So if you're in front and you fall on it, it's offside. Okay. Yes, yes, you can, mate. You can't challenge 10 metres. But you can challenge that offside. Okay, Cronulla challenging ruling of offside, mate. Cleary wanted them to roll on there. Eight minutes and 11 seconds to go. He did well, Sione Katoa. You just thought for a moment that Sunir Taruva had a little bit of magic the in him. The ball's played out by Sione Katoa. This restarts the tackle count. It's play on this stage. It makes no contact with any other player. Cool. Sione Katoa yeah. gains possession. Right. There, 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 yeah. Got it back. Yep. Did Just a great sure job. no knock on from Sione. All right. As long as there's no knock on, it certainly didn't come into contact one, with uh, Nikita. What about the kick selection yeah, of Nathan one, Cleary and being able to execute yeah. that? There's no offside. Ooh. Sione Katoa gains possession. Yeah, okay. Yeah, did well, Sione Katoa. And then Scott Sorrison makes a tackle. The challenge is successful. He needs to have the challenge up the sleeve late, even though the yeah. scoreline doesn't help, but he's going to not have to defend another full set. Fisher Harris, that is brutal. By the way, the tackled inside opponent's 20 count is now 45 for Benrith, 10 for Cronulla. I, I know it sounds a little odd, 
but given that number, I'm still wrapping Cronulla. I know they've considered five tries. Penrith had 45 tackles inside the Sharks' 20 tonight. A shark side that lost Kennedy in the opening minutes of the game. And confidence down and possession overall. Now Hines rushed a kick. Penrith all over it. Brian Tottle to bring it back will, will start the set close enough to be inside the Sharks' half. And the sense it ain't going to finish at 28. McKinnison may go into the 80s in this set. Great footwork. Right. Got yeah. past McKinnis there. They are nine metres inside. Went well off the mark. Not sure about the play the ball. Play on. Still more work to be done. There's 79. McKinnis in that tackle. 32 metres away from the line. Yo with it. Yo for Cleary. Dummy goes right. This is Crichton. Held up there. That was uh, Talakai. They're 25 from the line. Two tackles left. Cleary with it. Kick looking for Luai. Sharks haven't covered. Bit of an anticlimax, climax to be honest. Katoa brings it back. Cronulla with the ball. 14 metres out from their own line. But in danger of going scoreless. The 99th meeting of Penrith and Cronulla, the sides that enter the competition back in 1967. It's looking like being a decisive one for Penrith. Braley, McInnes, Hines across, Tracy. They're trying, they're still trying. There's no, no they haven't lack stopped of effort. Trying. No, they haven't stopped trying. Big post-match show coming up as well. Yvonne and uh, Mal and Cooper Cronk here at Penrith to review all of the action from Super Saturday and look ahead to our Sunday ticket tomorrow. Another chance to watch the rampant Cowboys in action. For the Army kick out due back for the Bulldogs tomorrow in the first game against the Dolphins. And Penrith with the ball here. And top of Another carry with five and a half to go. I say, yeah, uh, coming from the field, you can hear it there through the sound effects mics down at ground level. Uh, a wonderful reception and appreciation for their captain. He's had a tremendous night, Isaiah. Uh, 145 metres, 29 tackles without a single miss. He has been excellent tonight as a uh, Panthers on halfway. Sony Luke. And uh, Smith. Oh, Cleary almost lost it. Oh, then almost gets through the tackle of Hazelton back to Fisher Harris. He offloads. Edwards with it. Switch to the left. Cleary kept alive. Luai goes through. Then the ball knocked down. Was he tackled without it? Play on the call. Tracy brings it back. There's open space now for Connor. And Crichton ends that run. 28 nil inside the final five now. Tom Hazelton in a bit of trouble for the Cronulla side, really struggling with a lower leg injury, waving the trainer away, but just showing incredible toughness just to stay out there. Toby Rudolph went off out the back, the last interchange of the night, so Cameron McInnes is going to play the 80. He ain't coming off. Rudolph's gone off out the back. Sharks with the ball. We've got McInnes. He's broken the 80 tackles. Braley. Hunts into the Panthers' half. They've got four minutes to score. Their only points of the night. It's been a while since they were kept scoreless. Graham kept it on. Good control. Talakai had in front. Good tackle. Tottle went on with it. No set restart. No penalty there. Hines to kick. 35 metres out. Taruva is set and takes it and then beats the player. Tito Taruva. We just I remember mean, we've spoken about just the sheer effort of the Cronulla side tonight and you know, with all the position that Penrith have had and how hard they've tried. But what, what does this say about this Penrith defensive side? The fact that Cronulla have been and at times this year unstoppable with their attack, one of the best attacking sides in the competition. And Penrith tonight, it, it's, been, it's been a shutout. So far, zero points. And, uh, and 10 of those minutes, we tried to clearly set to himself for a 40-20. He went back into the 40, he went back into the 40, and has got it! Rabian hasn't been able to stop it. He's a freak. Cleary took a step back to put himself inside the red line. 
Watch it again. Sets himself. Wooshka. He is an absolute freak. How good is that? He has been outstanding tonight. Like, lengths ahead. Best player on the field, Nathan Cleary. Panthers looking to crack 30. Smith takes the carry. By the way, the McInnes count, we will audit it after. they. We always do here at Fox League. So there'll be a, a recount. There he is again. Just to check, but 82. They're pretty good. Nice little driven into the turf there by Williams. Cronulla still trying their hearts out. Cleary Edwards goes long. Crichton with it. His little mate on his outside doesn't get it to him. And Crichton held up. With Graham over the top there. Went on with the tackle. Tottle, Edwards, Cleary, Show, outside. Luai, runners here. Sorensen looking for a trial of the milestone game. Hines set restart. Ruck infringement. Oh, Fisher Harris taken sideways. But they have the full set here, Penrith. How ruthless can they be against a committed Cronulla? Eisenhuth to play it. Now Cleary bobs up on the right. Sony Luke goes left. That's a third tackle. Call comes from the number seven. Call comes from the number six. Hines ran up on Luai. He got away from him. Jerome has been doing this dancing all night. He's just playing a game in his own world tonight, Jerome Luai. The million tackle busts. Eisenhuth, another great set. Cronulla with little in the tech, and Hazel turned field to kick. Well, 28 nil, but that is the 56th tackle Penrith have had inside the Sharks' 20. Yeah, brilliant work from the Cronulla side, moving side to side. Sonny Luke asking plenty of questions through the middle. In fact, I thought he overplayed it, that set, Sonny Luke. Nathan Cleary needed the footy yet a couple of times out on that left-hand side. And he continued to toil with his middle forwards. Trindle now trying. Good shot from Cleary. The halfback's coming together. The Sharks will stay marooned on 26 points. A chip over the top. Peachy's got it covered for the Panthers. Tyro's not putting the kill in the rack. Penrith. Top of the table alongside the Broncos on 34 points. A kick over the top, the last play of the night. And then a, a fumble. Oh, no. They've got it down, yes. Forced by Talakai. That'll do us tonight. It's another win for Penrith. A night where they keep their light intact. The full houses, there'll be no end in sight to that. Penrith and their faithful are a powerful force full time on a Saturday night Penrith 28 Cronulla nil